सो हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर मयूक हाजरा आई सिक्योर्ड ए आई आर ट्वेंटी नाइन इन नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ए आई आर सिक्स एट्टी फोर इन आई एन आई सी टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बोथ फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट सो वेलकम बैक टू अ न्यू एंड ब्रांड न्यू स्योर शॉर्ट पी वाई क्यू टॉपिक्स ओके वेन आई वेर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज द कार्बोहाइड्रेट मेटाबोलिज्म डिसऑर्डर्स सो I am going to provide the notes on Telegram channel. Okay, after a subject is completed, so do join my Telegram channel from the description below. And we are going to study today at first the glycogen storage disorder. And I have covered about twenty one PYQs from INICT, FMGE, and NEET PG. Okay, so let's start. So in uh, glycogen storage disorders, firstly the liver glycogen when the glycogen is accumulated in liver it causes hypoglycemia because uh, during the 12 to 18 hours of fasting the liver provides the glucose necessary glucose during the fasting state okay so if the glycogen uh, the glycogenolysis cannot take place and glycogen is accumulated in liver it causes hypoglycemia okay and in muscle if uh, during exercise the glycogenolysis takes place and it uh, provides the energy after uh, glucose is formed and glucose uh, breaks down to form uh, glucose breaks down by glycolysis okay so if it is uh, if the whole process stops it causes exercise intolerance and muscle cramps during the exercise okay so coming to the first disease the glycogen storage disorders are divided into disease types of diseases they are numbered okay so for easy understanding so type 1 i am going to also tell you how to memorize the enzyme deficiency okay so type 1 uh, you all know uh, you don't need a trick for this von gags disease glucose 6 phosphate deficiency as you know that this is the most common glycogen storage disorder the glucose 6 phosphate accumulates so severe hypoglycemia to it would be seen i have told you in the concept and i am not going to repeat uh, in every each and every disorder so glucose 6 phosphate is accumulated and it, it is channeled into the ribose uh, pathway and so more uh, purine pyrimidine sa synthesis on degradation uh, more uric acid is produced so hyperuricemia is seen as it is accumulated in the liver and kidney it causes the hepatomegaly and the kidney enlargement and uh, as you know that the glucose 6 phosphate undergoes glycolysis and it forms more lactic acid so it causes lactic acidosis also and as there is severe hypoglycemia so alternate pathway of metabolism is required so that so that the energy for the body is provided uh, so ketone bodies are formed as you know that after fasting state uh, during the starvation ketone bodies are formed so it is formed in general only because uh, the glycogenolysis uh, does not take place so ketosis is seen so there would be acidosis due to lactic acidosis and keto acidosis okay so type 2 is pompous disease it uh, this also you have to remember uh, this i don't have any tip so pompous disease it is lysosomal acid maltase deficiency okay it was asked in uh, inict 2023 now what could be the futuristic mcq because inict focuses on a particular topic so it causes hypotonia hepatomegaly and the main feature is cardiomegaly okay this is the main feature this is a distinguishing feature from all other uh, disease so it has a high mortality also so an mcq could be asked uh, uh, oh, which glycogen storage disorder could be or what could be the enzyme deficiency where a uh, where the cardiac shadow is so shown to be enlarged an x ray so uh, it is showing the cardiomegaly okay or in text only they can say cardiomegaly so it would be pompous disease and lysosomal acid maltase deficiency okay so number 3 is corys disease i uh, from the here onwards i have a trick trick so it is also called limit dextrinosis uh, it was asked in aims 15 so c cory c for d okay after c what letter comes is the d for corys disease uh, the enzyme deficiency is the d branching enzyme so the d branching enzyme is deficient but not completely absent so if you give glucagon which is a stimulator of glycogenolysis if you glu give glucagon during the fasting state the blood glucose is not increased okay but if you give glucagon in the fed state the blood glucose is increased because uh, there is also glucose absorption okay after that is the anderson disease the amylopectinosis the deficiency is a for a amylopectinosis and the enzyme deficiency is after a letter a what comes is the b okay so the branching enzyme is deficient and organs affected are both muscle and liver 
एंड मैकार्ड्स डिजीज आफ्टर दैट सो एम फॉर एम मैकार्ड्स डिजीज मसल ग्लाइकोजन फॉस्फोराइलिस इट हैज बीन आक्स इन पी वाई क्यूज मेनी टाइम्स सो इट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन ग्लाइकोजन स्टोरेज डिसऑर्डर इन द एडल्ट इट कॉजेज एक्सर्शनल मसल क्रैम्प बिकॉज आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट इट कॉजेज एक्सरसाइज इंटॉलरेंस एंड कन्फर्मेटरी इज कन्फर्मेटरी टेस्ट इज एक्स द लैक्टेड लेवल वुड नॉट बी इंक्रीज इवन आफ्टर एक्सरसाइज बिकॉज ग्लाइकोजिनोलाइसिस इज नॉट टेकिंग प्लेस सो ग्लाइकोलाइसिस इन द मसल इज नॉट टेकिंग प्लेस एंड लैक्टेड वुड नॉट बी फॉर्म एंड इंटीग्रेटेड पॉइंट वट आई एम टेलिंग यू इज दैट लैक्टेड कॉजेज द Uh, the uh, vasodilatation in the muscle cells which causes the muscles uh, means uh, the vasodilation that is a local metabolite okay after uh, that is the uh, number 6 is the hers disease uh, the deficiency is the hepatic glycogen phosphorylase h for h c c for d a for b m for m after that h for h so hepatic glycogen phosphorylase it would cause uh, mild hypoglycemia after number 7 is special because it is not a glycogen storage disorder at all okay but it has been kept in there so the enzyme deficiency is phosphofructokinase 1 and the clinical feature that you are going to see is the muscle cramps because the glycolysis cannot take place uh, from the same concept only and 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 are uh, it is more after the carbohydrate meals because the glucose level is raised uh, in the muscles also and it causes hemolytic anemia because uh, as you know the sole source of energy of the rbcs is the glycolysis only if uh, any enzyme of glycolysis is deficient so it is going to cause hemolytic anemia so pyruvate kinase deficiency also causes hemolytic anemia in such a way okay so after that is the galactosemia galactosemia could be of two types uh, the classical galactosemia that is the gput deficiency and the uh, minor by galactokinase deficiency it causes only the cataract part the oil droplet cataract it used to be asked previously uh, means many years ago it used to be asked as a pyq okay but nowadays it has not been asked and the oil droplet cataract is uh, formed due to both accumulation of substrate and the product so the substrate is galactose and the product is galactitol okay uh, and uh, the classical galactosemia G, uh, galactose 1 phosphate is accumulated when a carbohydrate phosphate is accumulated like in von gerg's disease also you had seen that the glucose 6 phosphate accumulated it causes it caused jaundice so here glucose 1 phosphate is uh, galactose 1 phosphate is accumulated so the liver would cause jaundice okay and uh, in brain it causes mental retardation oil droplet cataract as you know uh, and the neonatal sepsis is caused by e coli in these cases and benedict's test would be positive because of the reducing monosaccharide and uh, this is the absolute contraindication for breast milk feeding okay so hereditary fructose intolerance after that we come so the enzyme deficient is the aldolase b okay and uh, here also fructose 1 phosphate is accumulated in uh, liver so it would cause jaundice as you know and hypoglycemia because uh, the fructose 1 phosphate inhibits the glycogen phosphorylase and in kidney it causes kidney enlargement after that is uh, the hereditary fructosuria why we call it fructosuria not fructosemia all we call is uh, the galactosemia uh, so why not uh, fructosemia because Uh, as as soon as uh, the fructose level in blood raises it is excreted so it is fructose urea means it would be found only in urine it is not found in blood okay so fructokinase deficiency causes this and this would also cause the benedict test to be positive okay now after that as an important concept is the link reaction that links the glycolysis with the krebs cycle okay the link reaction so it is called so uh in the link reaction as you know that the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex converts pyruvate to acetyl coa and it is a irreversible step so acetyl coa could not be converted to pyruvate and the further steps can't take place for uh gluconeogenesis so acetyl coa is never a glucogenic never a glucogenic okay so it is asked in aims 15 and 16 also and pyruvate dehydrogenase complex like that Uh, what all other complexes we have that is the alpha keto dehydrogenase complex and bckd okay and in the complex what all coenzymes we have the five coenzymes lipoic acid vitamin b1 b2 b2 was asked b3 b5 and in pyruvate dehydrogenase deficiency what would be accumulated pyruvate and pyruvate uh, in order to regenerate the nadp uh, the nad 
so the uh, reducing equivalents it forms the lactate okay so it causes the lactic acidosis in uh, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex deficiency so the advice as you know that it would be a low carb diet okay because uh, if more the carbs more will be the pyruvate and more will be the lactic acidosis so uh, the last important cause, uh, concept that i am going to discuss is the tca cycle inhibitors here also i have a trick to memorize number one complex one so this is one so at the end uh, of these molecules you have one okay rotinone phenobarbitone uh, number two complex number two is inhibited by malonate by competitive inhibition you all know that from the UG only, NEET UG only, you all know that, so you need not to memorize. Number three is uh, inhibited by fenformin and actinomycin 8. Number four, complex number four and five are important because their inhibitors are asked repeatedly. Okay, number four is mainly uh, the hydrogen sulfide gas, the cyanide, and the carbon monoxide. So the cyanide inhibits the oxygen uptake uh, uh, in the ETC. So the oxygen uptake is inhibited so it uh, increases the oxygen level in the blood and it causes the cherry uh, the cherry red hemostasis as you all know the or the cherry pink hemostasis because the oxygen level is increased in the blood uh, so cyanide and carbon monoxide also means carbon monoxide poisoning it causes it i i was wrong sorry uh, the carbon monoxide causes the uh, cherry red uh, hypostasis and uh, complex number four that is the atp synthesis complex as you know that the ATP synthase complex has F0 uh, or FO and F1 component. Why it is FO? FO stands for, the O part stands for oligomycin. So oli it is inhibited by oligomycin. So it is called FO. So uh, complex 5 is inhibited by oligomycin. It was asked in NEET 21 and it is inhibited by attractylocyte also. So i think uh, this finishes it for today so do subscribe to the channel because uh, this is a great initiative i think uh, for those who are preparing uh, for the neat ini set or fmge for a quick review okay and do uh, join the telegram channel as i had said before because i am going to provide uh, this notes after i complete its subject okay and do share it with your friends because uh, so that uh, they could also be helped from this video so bye bye and uh, next Sunday I am going to come with another video. Okay.